There's a currawong. That's an Australian currawong of some sort. It's coming for apple. Looking here at the bird bath and we're looking at currawong droppings to see what they're eating, what their diet is composed of. That's what we're doing here because we're interested in birds, Australian birds. Now, that is that there. Can we see it? This here, this one here is Phoenix canariensis. Oh, that's a Phoenix canariensis berry. It's yellow. It's a Phoenix canariensis date. And it's a date. It goes right through the bird, doesn't it, really? A big yellow date. Oh, I've got to <laughs> I didn't want to touch all this, but I will. Oops, there we are. That's a date seed in the middle of Phoenix canariensis. It's been through the intestines of a currawong. What else? This is Gumby Gumby. Petosporum, um, what is it? Petosporum, Petosporum angustifolum. It's soft, it has been affected a bit. It's been, oh, oh look, oh no. What is that? No, it's not. That is an African boxthorn, that one. It's a yellow, unripe African boxthorn. So that's been through their tummy. Are they all? They were Gumby Gumby the other day. What's this? No, that's African boxthorn too. African boxthorn. I thought the yellow beads were Gumby Gumby, but they're not. There's a bit of apple skin. Um, so what haven't we got here? We've got we've got Phoenix canariensis. We've got unripe unripe African boxthorn that have turned yellow. That's why I thought they were Gumby Gumby. But the other day we had Gumby Gumby. There are no Gumby Gumby in here now apparently. They're yellow. And uh, at other times of year you'll see them uh, eating privet berries. And you'll even see prickly pear, bits of prickly pear. Oh, currajong seeds too. So they have quite a diet and it does include introduced species like uh, privet and prickly pear and African boxthorn. But of course they eat native things like currajong seeds and uh, other other plants. But that's just to look anyway in the bird bath at currawong droppings to see what they're eating. There's a currawong berry on the bush. Let's just have a look there. That's what the uh, currawongs obviously have been eating. Oh, there's the little seeds that we saw in the bird bath. This is African boxthorn, Lyceum ferricissimum. We have the same seeds we just saw in the bird bath, see? Lyceum ferricissimum. And behind it over here we have we have, this is uh, Chinese privet and of course there's European privet too but they're not in berry at the moment but at other times of year you will see blue blue droppings from currawongs and the blue droppings, same with blackbirds, are privet berries. So one other berry I haven't mentioned too that they eat is pepper tree berries, shinus, shinus, they eat uh, pepper tree berries. These pepper, pepper tree berries aren't ripe at the moment, but at other times of year when it's covered in pink uh, berries, pink peppers, you will find currawongs are eating those uh, peppers. So it's part of their diet. Uh, pepper berries, a bit hot I suppose. Yes, I mean that the pepper tree berries might be rather hot to the palate. They do uh, burn like a 
black pepper really. They're quite hot really. That's a pepper tree here. Oops. And Karawongs do eat Gumby Gumby, the berries. These are the flowers of Gumby Gumby. But Karawongs most certainly eat the orange berries. So if you want to attract birds into your garden, grow some Gumby Gumby as well. Let's just have one final look at the Gumby Gumby berries. There's a car along now. That's the car along. <laughs>